Hey guys and gals, Tony George from DocSports.com, your Monday update here. What a glorious day it is. What a glorious Sunday we had with 7-1 and one in all sports, hit a top play in football again. Ho-hum. Seven-unit play, Michigan, boom. Under Seattle, Philadelphia, no sweat winner. Where's Philadelphia's offense going to come from? Huh? Boom. We're going to do an NFL Sunday recap, go over some of the games real quick and just give you some reactions. The NFL line report will be out tomorrow. We're also going to talk about, oh yeah, seven-unit NFL play tonight. Strongest position all season long, pick of the season. Monday Night Football goes tonight right there. College basketball. Think about this week. Thanksgiving, travel safe, enjoy the family. You know, eat plenty of pumpkin pie, all that good stuff. Stuff the bird with cash. It's that week. We've got college basketball tournaments going on all over the place. From Hawaii to the Cayman Islands. Four. Four college basketball picks today. Get on them. 3-0 and sweep yesterday. Got it done. 5-2 and run. Let's get it done. College basketball. Right there in the description below is a free $60 if you've never been a member of Doc Sports. Put that towards a week of college basketball. What do you get it for like $39 in? With basketball tournaments all week through Thanksgiving, the week next weekend, for $39. That means on a four-pack tonight, you're getting these plays for $9 each. And you got six days to go and it's back with a pure profit guarantee. You're going to turn positive units so we'll give you... We'll keep giving you my picks until you turn units positive. Dare me. I'm ready. Dare me. Okay. NFL seven unit play tonight, three and one Sunday. Boom. Undefeated on Saturday. Two pushes, but undefeated three and oh, seven unit play on Michigan. Boom. NBA winner yesterday with Dallas. What I tell you last week about the Dallas, Dallas uh, uh, Mavericks. What I tell you? Anybody overlook some? Anybody not ready to play them? They're leading their division. Over Houston, smacked Houston as a five and a half point pup. Boom! Put it in the bank. Rolling. Doc Sports, use that 60 bucks. Come out. Especially tonight in the NFL. Told you a couple weeks ago, what have we done the last two weeks in, in football? And I told you at midpoint in the NFL, 100% transparent, we were below 500 and I was pissed. Last two weeks of football combined, we've gained 48 units and $3,300. Uh, $3, Need I say more? Need I say more? Top plays, five, six, seven, or eight units in all sports. Over the last three weeks, I've had eight of those picks. They're rare. I don't have them every day. Seven and one, plus $4,040 for top play big game hunters. Proofs in the pudding. DocSports.com. Free NBA play coming your way. Let's go over. Uh, what happened uh, yesterday in the NFL, and it was a crazy day. We went 3-1. and one. We were very happy about that, hitting that top play. Uh, let's go over it um, on Sunday. Uh, the only loss I had was Atlanta. Jameis Winston on the road, keeping up his two interceptions per game average on the season, and Atlanta couldn't put him away after they shut down New Orleans and Carolina in back-to-back -back weeks and looked damn good doing it. What happened? Oh, my God. Tampa Bay, 35 points. Atlanta managed 22 against that defense. Come on. Wow. Thought I'd jump on the bandwagon. It was wrong. That was my only loss. I uh, had the Giants yesterday. 14-19 uh, winner. Chicago continues to struggle on offense, and they're laying a big number against Detroit, who looks like they're putting Stafford up in the cupboard and going to run with Driscoll all year, and who knows what's going to happen there. We'll have our NFL opening line report tomorrow. All football plays will be out Wednesday at 6 o'clock, so you have time to get all your stuff in before your holiday festivities. And then about when you're pulling the bird out about noon, 1 o'clock for the big family gathering, stuff it with some money. You'll have your plays ready. Rivalry week in college football, we'll get to that in a minute, including these guys on Friday. Hello. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Bills took care of business against Denver. Again, the Bills, not a... Not a, 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 a great team. Not a lot of superstars. Gore yesterday, third on all-time rushing list. Unbelievable Frank Gore. Singletary running the ball. Allen running around loose. Uh, they're just good. They're not great at – they're just good at everything. 
and they are extremely well coached. 23 winner over the hapless Denver Broncos. Um, Seattle, 17-9 over Philadelphia. Had the under 48 for a six-unit top play. But Seattle's a mess. I mean, Philly's a mess. Wilson should have had four touchdown passes in that game. Between overthrowing or guys dropping passes, should have had four touchdown passes. But he didn't because we had the under big. But I don't think Philadelphia would ever scored. Philadelphia's a mess. They're beat up on offense. Their line's beat up. All the receivers are out. The ones that are in there are dropping passes. Um, Wentz looks like a shell of himself, missing 10-yard passes by a mile. They're just not in sync at all. Philadelphia's an absolute train wreck. And Seattle, 6-0 and on the road, just continue to win games. And Russell Wilson, despite not having a good game, did enough to win. Um, Miami, uh, Cleveland, Cleveland got it done, uh, 41-24, a little surprising to me. I did take the Dolphins in one of my three Circa or Westgate contests picks yesterday. They did not get it done. A little surprising there. I thought Fitzmagic would play well against them. And Cleveland finally put together a game. Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry had a couple big plays against his old team. You know, they just rolled them. Carolina, New Orleans. New Orleans, what happened to the Vaughn defense? All we're talking about, the Vaughn defense. Drew Brees does what Drew, Drew Brees does with two and a half minutes left in the game when you give you the ball. He goes down, he wins it. Just like Tom Brady. Some of these guys, these old veterans, give them the ball, they go down the field methodically and just beat your ass. And that's what they did to win that game. Surprising, though, they were laying a huge number. A lot of guys like Carolina here today, good for you. Um, let's talk about the JETS Jets. 34-3. What? Gruden, Gruden, let me slap you. Adam Gates just coached your ass off with less talent. Coached your ass off, beat it badly. Now you're a 10 point underdog to Kansas City at Arrowhead this week. Good luck. Good luck. Wow. Kansas City already blasted you once this year. That was just a poor performance by Oakland. Poor coaching, poor execution, and again, John Gruden, poor coaching. Just absolutely unbelievable. And the Jets, since uh, Donald saw ghosts, have ripped off three straight wins after that. After that, yeah, dangerous team right now. You never thought you'd say that this year, did you? Uh, taking on the Bengals and the Steelers. Steelers uh, put in the duck at halftime. Got rid of Mason Rudolph, who was. Not a starting quarterback in the NFL. The Duck, Hodge, actually, he'll probably end up starting this week. Um, they took care of the Bengals by six in an ugly fashion. Uh, the Bungles continue to find ways to lose games. Yeah, it was a push there if you liked uh, Pittsburgh. Here's one for you. Tennessee, uh, Jacksonville, Tennessee, 42-20. 7-3 halftime, 42-20 final. Scored 52 points in the second half. 28 unanswered right out of the gate in the first seven minutes, third quarter, Tennessee. Um uh, if you're not looking at Tannehill's numbers, you better start looking because he's playing excellent football for Tennessee. And this is a team I'm still trying to figure out, but they're capable. And Jacksonville, since they brought, put in, put, put in Minshew Magic again, whatever Foles has done there since he got back has destroyed all their chemistry. Just saying. Destroyed all their chemistry. Detroit, Washington. Washington with Haskins gets a win over Detroit. Hello. There was a crap load of money on Detroit earlier this week. A crap load. Scott and I, Scott Spicer and I did the videos of percent of tickets written, percent of money bet, biggest money bet in Vegas this week, which was the Jets, by the way, and they did win. Wow. Tune into those marquee matchups, those videos Scott and I do. They give you free information. Uh, but nonetheless, Detroit a train wreck. They're going to put Stafford in the cupboard for the year he's done. You know, wh why risk him with a crack back? Why, why risk him? Just put... You know, Driscoll in there and see what happens. I mean, that's all you can do. Wow. And they're playing Chicago. T-Day. Oh, boy. Uh, Green Bay, what happened? This was the game. I wanted nothing to do with this game. I took the over last night for a free play. And by the way, free play stunk this weekend. 0 for 3. Sorry about that. We were on a huge roll. I think we were like 6-3 and three or last 9. Something like that. We'll get you a free win in the NBA tonight, get you a winner, and get back going on those free picks. Because us winning free picks is important to me. 760 game sample size, 59.7% on this video since June of 2017. Fact. 
So we like winning free picks. Nonetheless, this was a game I sat back and I said, you know what? I'm going to really, this is a good barometer with Rodgers and company coming to town and Rodgers can neutralize a good defense as good as any quarterback in the league. And they absolutely beat the livid dog piss out of Green Bay. It wasn't even close. You know, what I see a picture, a, a meme, a meme, whatever they call them online, Facebook somewhere today, showed Aaron Rodgers getting tackled, the ball popping out, four 49ers on top of him, and, and, and the meme or the meme, however you pronounce it, said maybe he should have got all state instead of State Farm, so mayhem like this wouldn't happen. Huh. Pretty fitting. San Francisco's the real deal. I cannot wait till they play Seattle again, round two, up in Seattle. That's going to be one of the best, most epic games of the entire season. Could be a preview of the NFC Championship game. Maybe Saints, maybe Vikings got something to say about that. Just saying. And finally, Dallas, New England. New England is winning with smoke and mirrors. Now, I had New England and Seattle in a two-team six-point teaser yesterday, so I was happy to see them win. Um, but the Cowboys, uh, there's, a, there's a list of issues there. A lot of it has to do with head coaching and coaching in general. Some horrible play calls. Garrett's always been a crappy clock manager, and I am not going to fade, even though they covered the number. Um, go right at it. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I am not going to fade, ever fade Bill Belichick against Jason Garrett. Ever. Nonetheless, they get it done 13-9. to Crappy weather conditions. I bet the under yesterday when I saw the weather report in the morning and they were broadcasting from the field. Uh, but New England is winning with defense and not offense. They have no deep threat downfield. You got Dorsett and Sanu banged up. You have an average to below average tight end, way below average tight end compared to Gronk. And uh, you have a good running game, but why aren't you throwing the ball out of the backfield, out the flat? Just question Josh McDaniels. But nonetheless, they're winning with defense. But I tell you what, there's too many good teams in the AFC offensively. Uh, Kansas City and uh, Baltimore come to mind right off the top of my head. And some other teams that give them a lot of problems as well. They're laying three and a half on the road to Houston this week. NFL line report will be out tomorrow. But nonetheless, um, another poor performance by Dallas against a good team. Surprise, surprise. But New England has some problems. Okay, in uh, rivalry week this week, real quick here, just some early lines. I think Alabama opened up three and a half at Auburn. You got Ohio State uh, minus nine and a half against Michigan. Michigan was our seven unit play on Saturday. And as I stated, they're playing as good a football as anybody in the country right now. From halftime of the Penn State game till this game here today, in Ann Arbor, they're catching nine and a half. Iowa's laying four to my beloved Huskers, who blew out Maryland this weekend. Um, Nebraska needs that win to get to a bowl game. They have five wins. That's in Lincoln on Friday, day after Thanksgiving. Used to be Nebraska, Oklahoma on day after Thanksgiving. Now it's Nebraska, Iowa. Did I mention I hate Iowa? To all my Iowa friends out there, the best thing ever to come out of Iowa was Interstate 80 going west. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I doubt I will have anything on that other than just from a fan's perspective. But nonetheless, let's get to your free pick today here. Long-winded update today, doing the recaps. Don't forget, seven-unit top play tonight in the NFL. Four-pack in college basketball, two-pack in the NBA, three-pack, oh, I forgot to mention, NHL. Off a of five-unit win Saturday, passed yesterday, three-pack. Three units, flat bet across the board each NHL action. Free play tonight quickly is going to be, we're going to take Sacramento and the points against Boston. Sacramento, Walton's coaching them. They got a bunch of guard-heavy team. Um, they're gelling, getting better chemistry, playing better basketball, and have beat some Giants this year. Okay? They struggle on the road. The total in this game is 207, opened up at 212 and a half. It's dropping down. I'll tell you why it's dropping down, because Kimba Walker is out for Boston. 21 points a game, and the leader of their offense throws off their chemistry. Now, Stevens is going to coach the defense up, have them grind it down, slow it down, dictate pace, take good shots, limit opportunities for Sacramento. 
Lower scoring game, I'll take the point. Six and a half, Sacramento Kings night against the Boston Celtics. Back at you on Tuesday.